Hello all, this is Joy from Codular Technologies Bangalore. As you know, GST has been introduced in India by the central government. A lot of companies are confused regarding the term GST and its complications. So today we are going to solve all your problems related to GST. We are going to have a session for Magento 2 GST extension. Codular was the first company in India to come up with a full range GST extension that is compatible with all existing Magento 2 e-commerce platforms, providing a seamless integration with existing Magento 2 taxation structures. So without wasting further time, let's get started. So after downloading the extension, we'll be provided with a zip file. We'll unzip the file and that will give us a directory called Codular. So we'll just copy that directory and we'll go to the Magento installation and then app and then inside app we'll go to the code directory and we'll paste our directory which we just copied here. So that will give us all the necessary files required for the extension. Next we would have to execute two commands. Uh, for that we need to go to the directory which our Magento installation is installed on and then bin slash Magento. We give a space and setup colon upgrade. So that will upgrade all of the install schemas and upgrade schemas for the extension which is required for the extension to work properly. So after the setup upgrade is done successfully, the next step would be to uh, deploy the static content. For that the command would be bin slash magento space setup colon static hyphen content colon deploy and that would deploy all of the necessary static contents required for the extension to work properly. So after that's done there are two more commands which we need to do that is just to change the permissions for the required folders for var and pub. After that the extension installation part is complete. So after installing the extension the next step would be to log into the admin panel and then go to stores and configuration. Under the store configuration settings, we go under the Codilar tab and click on the GST section. And here we set up our initial configuration. So we enable or disable this module and the second one is to put up the GST IN. So let's say it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in this case. The third one is the production state and the fourth one is to enable or disable the shipping GST. So after putting in the necessary configuration, we save the configuration. So after this configuration is saved, the next step would be to go under sales and tax. And here we set the display full tax summary to yes under the shopping cart display settings as well as the orders, invoices and credit memos display settings. And then we save the configuration. So what this will allow is to show the GST split properly in the front end. The next step would be to show the GST IN of the customer in the front end as well. So for that, so for that we need to go to the customer configuration as under the customers tab. And here we need to put some custom code under the text, HTML and PDF sections. So this is the code which we need to put. So we have the text, HTML and PDF codes here. I'll first copy the text code and put it in the text section. I'll do the same with the HTML code. And the same thing would be done with the PDF as well. So after that is done, we save this configuration. And that completes our configuration settings. So after the configuration is complete, the next step would be to create a product attribute called HSN. So for that, we go to stores and then product under the attribute section. And here we add a new attribute. So we'll name this attribute, uh, let's say HSN. And the attribute code should be HSN as well, all in small alphabets. And then we save the attribute. So after the attribute is saved, the next step would be to assign this attribute to an attribute set. So for that we go to the stores and the attribute set option under attribute section. And we go to the attribute set which we want to assign this attribute to. 
So let's say it's default in this case. And here we'll just drag and drop the HSN attribute under the product details section and then save the attribute set. So the next step would be to assign the HSN codes to the products. For that we go to products and then catalog. And then for this example let's just take uh, this best friends forever charm product. We'll edit this product. And we put in the HSN code here. So let's say it's one, two, three, four, five, six in this scenario. And the tax class would be set here. So let's set the tax class to GST 18 for this product and then we save the product. So the same thing would be done for all of the products and after that is complete, the backend configuration would be complete. So if we've set up everything properly on the backend, then we should be able to see the GST split in the cart page, the order review page, as well as the backend invoices, PDFs, and so on. So let me just go through a walkthrough of a placing a complete order from the customer's perspective to show you how the splits show up in the front end. So I'll just go to this Codilar uh, category which I've created earlier, and I'll select this product to add to the cart. So after it's added to the cart, I'll go to the cart and here, if we come down, we can see that the total GST and the IGST comes up in the cart page and now we'll go to the uh, checkout page. And let me just fill up all of these information. So in the order review section as well, you can see that the total GST as well as IGST splits show up here. And now finally, I'll place the order. So after the order is successfully placed in the backend, we can see if we visit the backend and if we go to sales and orders, we can see the splits in the backend as well. So this is the order which I've just placed. So if I come down, I can see that on the item level, the IGST and the GST percentage shows up as well as below on the order total section, we can see the total uh, GST as well as the IGST splits showing up here. So these things will reflect in the invoice as well as the PDFs and uh, in the customer dashboard and other places. So the final step would be to generate the reports. So for that we go to the reports and then we go to orders. And here we fill up the information for the reports. So let's say January to September. And after that, if we click on the show report, so that would generate the report. So here in the report section, we can see that the SGST, CGST, as well as IGST, along with the total GST is being shown. So now if we take a CSV uh, export of that report, so we can see the same thing is re reflected here as well, the SGST, CGST, IGST, as well as the total GST. So the same thing would be there for all of the other reports generated inside Magento 2 as well. Okay guys, that'll be all. I hope this video was successful in explaining all of the challenges which you might have, might have faced while uh, using this extension. If you have any doubts, you can send an email to hello at codilar.com. Thank you.